Well, welcome to the HEV studio. And today we've got Ray Kwan from AWS, which is Architectural Window Systems in Long. And we've also got Tim Hanlon here. Tim's the South Coast Sales Manager for our company. Welcome, guys, to the HEV studio. Thanks, Thanks Chance. Today we're going to talk to Ray more about um, what AWS does for hand on windows, and uh, which I look forward to. We've been uh, in association with these guys for over 22 years, and uh, we're going to talk more about their products and, and what they do for us. Ray, this is a question we sort of ask most people when they get into the studio right, here, eh? and uh, we should say hi to everyone out there in the, in the big TV world. It's an icebreaker question. If you could swap lives with someone for a day, who would you swap it with and why? Well, that's a very good question, Chance. I feel like I'm in a uh, job interview here. Wow. Um, <laughs> be careful, here. I might <laughs> offer you one. <laughs> um, oh, who would I be if I could swap lives with anyone for the day? Who would I be? Oh. Hmm. Very good question. Now, um, I guess if you could be anyone, you probably want to make a change and make a difference to the world and do something to, you know, to make a difference. Um, if I could be anyone for the day, would I be Donald Trump, perhaps, do you reckon? Oh, really? Uh, yeah, maybe. That's interesting. Yeah. What a <laughs> desperate man you are. Well, <laughs> you know, you could experience all the power of the world, but you know, probably most of all. Um, and also be hated. Yep. No, no, but give yourself an uppercut and retire from politics, I reckon. Uh, I, I think uh, maybe Donald Trump, prior to being the president of the United States, one of me, they would have been okay. But um, yeah, I don't know, mate. That's a, that's a curly one. I'll mm. leave you with that one. Yeah, thanks, mate. Right, yeah. You can dream about that tonight when you go home. Mm. Mate, tell us more about AWS Australia and also um, how long you've been with them. Uh, well, AWS Australia, uh, well, we... we <coughs> Excuse me. You're right. Um, I've been with AWS now for close to seven years. Okay. Um, we're an Australian-owned company, and uh, we have the largest network of independently owned and operated fabricators through the countryside. And how many uh, fabricators? We we've just hit 200 now. Wow. So we have 200 independent businesses who fabricate our window systems. So mm -hmm. all our systems are designed locally, uh, manufactured locally, um, you know, to suit Australia and Australian conditions. Yeah, cool. So, Ray, AWS uh, do a lot of uh, R&D work, especially. Uh, yes, so, do. Yeah, Mark and David are forever doing their R&D research and development. Uh, tell us a bit about sustainability and how AWS um, are looking to move forward with sustainability, what products you have out there. Um, well, yeah, very good question. Now, look, um, being a, an aluminium window uh, distribution business or a company that you know, designs aluminium windows and doors uh, there's a lot of I guess debate about the sustainability of, of aluminium now aluminium I guess is a um, you know is a, an abundant product the bauxite that's mined out of the ground there's plenty of it in the ground there so um, you know much more so than some of the fossil fuels that you know that we use to produce other products uh, but as far as what AWS does and sustainability we've we've always worked with industry to develop uh, energy efficient products um, you know therefore reducing the need and the, and the draw on um, you know, I guess the, the resources of you know of, of communities and industries um, you know, we, we're always designing new products. As you mentioned, Mark and David are always there designing um, you know, new products to bring in. We've recently introduced uh, you know, vent, trickle vent systems, yeah, yep. um, you know, which allow for passive ventilation into houses you know, to try and you know, maximise uh, energy efficiency. Uh, we've also had our thermal heart product for a long time, you know, again, for, uh, for energy efficiencies. Yep. Uh, and um, <coughs> touching on the Ventient, is it Ventient? Ventient so, is, yep. the, um, is the name of the, the product, name, yeah. Yeah. thank so you very much. No, yes. <laughs> right. So the, the Ventient product, uh, I believe it's made more so for uh, high-rise specifically with um, well, no, not kids safe in... Yeah, not, there, no, no? The, the venting can be used in lots of different applications, but anywhere where you need to get some ventilation into a building, particularly yep. where uh, you know windows and doors may not necessarily be opened up, you know, from from just the normal usage. You know, uh, so for instance, in uh, childcare facilities, in aged care facilities, schools. So you can imagine like a classroom full of kids. You know, you might have thirty kids in the classroom. By the end of the day, they're all getting a bit tired because there's not enough airflow coming through, so not enough oxygen in the room. So you know, the trickle vent actually opens up and allows the you know, air exchange to come through. Yep. Um, you, know, hey, you know, the other good thing about the trickle vent system that we use, we talked about energy efficiency, you know, it actually works on a, mm. a, on a bi-metal spring. So as it reaches certain temperature ranges, it'll open and close automatically without actually having to have mm. power connected to it. Mm. Uh, a product you <coughs> mentioned before, and we've got a secondary camera here, and I just might move a few things around here. This is the thermal heart product, which was introduced um, around about, what, three, four years ago? Oh, maybe yeah, longer? Maybe a bit longer yeah. than that, okay. Chance. Yeah, we've had it for a long time. We were probably one of the first companies in Australia to, to introduce the product. Yeah. 
This, this product here is, um, again, it's aluminium, but it's uh, broken up by a piece of polyamide. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. yes. Uh, which is no transfer of heat and cold between the inside, the outside, and vice versa, uh, and has become very, very popular, not just in the colder climates, but I believe it's being used in some of the warmer climates as well. Yeah, that's right, Chan. So, I mean, the, the, having the, the insulator in there uh, helps prevent the transfer of hot and or cold energy through, uh, through the frame, because aluminium being a, a metal product is a good conductor of energy, and having yep. that polyamide helps prevent the transfer of that energy from inside to out or outside to in. Mm. And we've done a few jobs down here at the Shoalhaven, like a couple of car yards and um, a couple of homes, and it uh, works very, very well, especially in those commercial buildings under the Section J. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, a lot of the legislation is driving for better performing buildings, so therefore better performing products um, is driving the need for, you know, for the continued development of products like Thermal Heart. Mm. What, well, are what are the thermal um, type products have you guys produced since Thermal Heart has come out? Uh, well, the thermal residential product, as you've shown there, is, uh, was one of the first products that we've come at, but that's since now developed into sliding doors, um, awning windows, hinge doors, a commercial range of product, which, like yes. you mentioned, been used in a lot of commercial buildings around the place, as well as you know, the, the original product which came out which, uh, you know, for residential application. Mm, okay. Cool. So tell us a bit more about AWS and what they do for their fabricators in uh, relation to business sustainability. So... I know you've got a marketing department there. You guys work hard towards uh, helping your fabricators out to uh, actually develop their businesses and make them more sustainable for the future yeah, as well. So part of um, the relationship that AWS has with the fabricator network, unlike a, a typical supplier, we uh, you know, you know, we work in partnership with our fabricators, and that is that we we, we look at people and we you know we identify the people who you know, may need different help in different areas of their business, and we work together and um, you know whether it be in marketing, in product development, in technical support, in um, you know, business development, um, you know, or product manufacturing, uh, you know, architectural support. You know, we also have a team of specification representatives who go around and work with, with our fabricators to you know, try and join the dots there. So um, you know, as you guys have experienced with, you know, with Murray and, with, uh, you know, and even with Tim in our specification teams there, uh, you know, they'll work with the architects, work with the fabricator, draw the specifications through, identify any issues that they've got there, um, you know, help them essentially, you know, get all the, the ducks lined up in a row, if you like, to yep. to, um, t you know, to to make sure that the, the end user or the homeowner has the product that they actually want, need and, and will use for the future. Yeah, mm. that's right. And that's that's a great service that you guys offer. I, I know we had a, um, a little architect's afternoon here last week and uh, James came down and did a little talk and uh, it's always good for us to uh, be able to get that face-to-face uh, interaction mm. with architects so if we do have any architect friends out there that are watching this um <laughs> this uh video then feel free to yep, give us a message on the handle windows page. page and and um we'll organize a time to come out and um and visit with you and show you through the aws products he's putting his sales sales, <coughs> sales hat on <laughs> yep, now isn't he that's yeah. right uh, something you guys do really well is is more so the marketing and, and you've done that really well over the years um you you instigated some some designed um, and some fabulous showrooms over the years and uh, our latest piece yeah. was the Dremoyne showroom but uh, I, I think this is the flagship I, I think if we look at the the Australian Window Association and they have some awards for showrooms and uh, showrooms under 100 square metres or over 200 square metres and so it goes on I think you guys have probably taken out the majority of those awards yeah. with your, some of your fabricators that's over right. the years so, yeah. over, over the years that's right Chance so, mm -hmm. there's been many of uh, our fabricators who have won uh, different awards for for their showrooms, and you know that's been done in collaboration with our marketing team. We've done a fantastic job with that, and also comes down to the dedication and the motivation of the individual fabricator as well. So, you know, those who really want to grow and you know and um, you know and develop their businesses take that opportunity to work in close partnership with us yes. and uh, and use those services that we make available to our to yeah. our fabricator network. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Tell me, um, do you do you think um through the specification of things? Do you, do you reckon there's a direct influence on the client in regards to specification, or do you think it's the builder that's making those decisions? And oh, absolutely, no, absolutely. I think specification makes a big difference into uh, the right product selection for the builder and also for the end user. You know, without mm. the specification in there, you know, the architects or the builder may be able just to choose whatever they think is the best for them and maybe financially motivated or financially driven, rather than thinking about the the end user who who's after a you know, who may be building their home that they're going to live in for the next 20 or so years. So um, it's more about the comfort and the functionality of that product rather than, you know, what is the, the cheapest possible product. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, mm. gotcha. 
Um, where do you think AWS, what is AWS working on at the moment? Um, is there anything we can expect to see in the marketplace fairly soon that's going to excite oh. us all and say, wow, here's another another fantastic yeah, product? Look, you know, as, um, as, as Tim mentioned before, you know, Mark and David from our uh, R&D team are always tinkering away with something there and there's, there's always lots of things going on. Um, without giving away too much, of course, Chance, uh, what can you see coming up in, in the near future? Um, you know, we, we've got continued development of our Thermal Heart product. Yep. Um, so there'll be, you know, in the near future, a, a new release of it soon. Um, you know, we've recently released a lot of new products, such as the Ventient Vent that Tim mentioned before. Yes. Also, our flow-through drain system that we've recently w you know, designed and released in conjunction with the guys from ACO. Um, we've also gone back and had to think about our existing product ranges and how we can develop them and continuously improve those products. So yes. There's a lot of so you'll see in the very near future a lot of improvement to the existing product range as well. So. Um, there's a lot going on there, and there's plenty. There's always plenty going on with us. Yeah. So it's an exciting time here at Townlands, uh, working with AWS, and uh, we look forward to the future, Ray. There's some uh, terrific things on on the horizon, no doubt. And uh, I know what you guys are like. You, you like to get us all together and let the cat out of the bag. So we'll wait for that. <laughs> so uh, that that to look forward that f look forward to that in the future. So thank you, Ray Kwan, for coming down today, thank and thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. No and uh, we thank you. Thanks for watching. And um, that's it from the HEV Studio. And we'll talk to you again soon. You're listening to Hanlon Windows Podcast produced in the HEV studio.